I'm Lucy from Mrs Bishop's Bakes and Banter blog and today I'm doing my first video review and I'm sharing with you the Smart Waffle which is from Sage by Heston Blumenthal. It's a really really cool piece of cook kit so I'm excited to share it with you. Basically this waffle iron um, is different from other waffle irons in the sense that it has this thing called um, Waffle IQ which is to do with some really cool settings um, on the machine that allows it to calculate exactly how much time um, it takes to cook the perfect waffle. So with this machine you can cook four different types of waffle. Um, your options are a classic waffle, which is what we're going to make today. You can also make a Belgian waffle, which is really light and fluffy and uses egg and whipped up egg whites. You could make a buttermilk waffle, using buttermilk, or one with some melted chocolate in. So what you do with the machine is you can use the first dial here to select which type of waffle you're making, so classic, Belgian, whatever. Um, and then this second dial here is how dark or light you want your waffle, so whether you like it kind of really dark and crispy or whether you like quite a light sort of golden waffle. What else is really awesome about this waffle iron in particular is that it makes absolutely no mess. This waffle iron has um, a no spill moat all the way around the edge. So when the waffles start cooking, any of the batter that spills out and as it expands, spills into the moat and the moat actually cooks as well. So you get little extra tasty bits. There's no mess and the waffles come out absolutely clean from the non-stick pan. Uh, you also get a measuring cup included with the Smart Waffle, which means you can measure out the perfect amount of batter so that you get a really good sized waffle that fills um, the irons completely. Right, okay, so now we're going to have a go at actually using the machine and we're going to make some classic waffles. So before I make the waffle batter, I need to switch this on and get it heated up. I'm just going to put the dial onto classic waffles on this one. And over here we're going to set it to four, which is um, sort of almost in the middle of the light to dark scale, which is how we like our waffles. So the ingredients. In here, I've got my dry ingredients, which is 300 grams of self-raising flour and 55 grams of caster sugar, just mixed together lightly. And then in um, these are my wet ingredients. We've got 430 mils of milk, uh, with um, 125 mils of melted butter, some vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. Um, I use homemade vanilla extract, but you can use any sort of shop bought one, that's absolutely fine. And then three eggs whisked up, okay? So you need all of your wet ingredients mixed together. I'm just gonna pour the egg into there. And then you're literally just uh, whisking it in nice and slowly on a kind of medium speed until you get a nice um, thick gloopy batter. It's that easy. Now it's all mixed up, uh, all, you, all that's left to do is to measure out the batter um, and get cooking. So this has reached temperature now, it's beeped at me um, and the display has turned orange which means that it's ready to cook. So let's dish it up. For these uh, classic waffles, you just need half a cup measure of batter per waffle. So I'm going to measure it out. So this is for one waffle. So all you do is open it up and you just pour your waffle batter in as evenly as you can. And then measure out your second one. And pour that in. And you close the lid and it will calculate exactly how much time it's gonna to take to cook, which is then three minutes and a half, just around that. And all we have to do now is just wait for it to cook and beep and tell us that it's ready. Okay, so they're all ready, let's have a look at them. Here we go. So as you can see, there is a slight little bit of overspill, but it's cooked, so it's all ready to eat and take out. All you need to do is just dig in, rather beautiful waffles. All ready to eat. All that's left to do now is to show you some ideas of how you can top your waffles. I'm going to show you my favourite topping for waffles and my husband's favourite topping. So one's sort of sweet and one's got the sweet salty thing going on. So first of all my favourite, it's uh, bacon and maple syrup. So here I've got two rashers of streaky bacon that have just been fried in a little bit of oil and some maple syrup. So it's just an assembly job. All I'm doing is pouring over the maple syrup, just adding a couple of rashers. You have to have maple syrup over the top. And voila, that's the bacon 
and maple syrup waffle, my favourite. Um, and then the second one is my husband's favourite version, which is with a chocolate spread, hazelnut chocolate spread, um, and bananas on the top. It's really delicious. So, you just are spooning on the chocolate spread and sort of spreading it over. Like so. Just use a knife to spread it. You want it in the crevices of the waffle. And so you get some chocolate spread with every mouthful. Spread it over. And then you just literally sprinkle over your chopped banana and enjoy. So all that's left to do is for someone to eat them. Luckily in this house there's always somebody willing to eat the things I bake. So um, I'm off to give these to Liam and I.